Right, this video is going to be about my EDC bag. Um, just put it together a few months ago and just gradually been evolving it. Um, basically, all EDC bags are is um, everyday carry tailored for your own personal needs. So this bag suits me for where I am right now. Um, it's probably not going to be um, for anyone else. Okay, so just put that out there from the start. Okay. Because people are going to be saying, oh, you should put this in there, you shouldn't carry that. All I'm doing is showing you what I'm carrying, all right? Now, this bag is evolving. It's not finished, all right? So what I wanted to do was to um, have the compartments at the top with some essentials that I need and a big compartment inside empty, all right? Um, this is basically um, tailored for um, urban environments, all right? So, so you know, I've been on holiday, etc. Um, I wanted something to eat and drink. I have pretty much carry a few things with me to make it a bit easier. So, first thing is I've been carrying a few of these. Um, they're British Army issue rehydration energy drinks. So, of course, you know, you're um, you're not drinking very much. You're thirsty, etc. You've got some rehydration and some energy salts in there. Just got three of them, doesn't take that much room. Um, incidentally, this pack um, I've got from FanQuest about a year or so ago. It's the um, Falconer 27, so it's 27 litres. It pretty much does me for what I need. I don't need a great big, huge you know, 50 litre bag carrying with me in and out of shops in town. It's just not me, okay? So there was a few things that I've cut off of this bag to make it easier. Um, we've got some side um, hooks which I've cut off. I just don't like the idea of straps going across the zips. It just gets in the way. Uh, the first pouch, I'm going to open up. Incidentally, that was from um, Polymath Products. There's a first aid kit in there. The first um, panel, as you can see, there's loads of loops and stuff of um, empty. Okay, So this is gradually being evolved, as we said. Now, I've just got a little box there. When I've got a through night torch, the battery's come in so there. So I've got one. 18650 battery in there for my through night torch which I carry on my person at all times. Never leave home without your flashlight guys. Very very good idea to keep that. Um, so I've got the battery there. I've got the gubbins that come with it. So that's like um, a spare button, a spare o-ring etc. Stays with it. Got some extra strong cord with a thread. A little compass, a little glow in the dark spongy thing you can use for lighting fires with or doing some fishing with safety pin so all that pretty much goes in there just a tiny little box um, massive fan of the turbo lighter been carrying one for three or four years now and there it is that is my original one it still works that goes in my pocket everywhere i go but if i happen to lose that i've got a backup and it's filled up as you can see in the window um, incidentally you can only use really good high quality um, lighter gas with these put the cheap stuff in there it will gunk up it won't work because it's a turbo flame see it needs to be really nice and clean um, just a little orange lanyard on there for easy pull out a little torch there which you can charge up via your USB port that's the colour it changes as it charges and that's your little USB charger um, you get these from Alpha Bushcraft. I'll put a link underneath. But it's a brilliant little light. Really, really nice little bit of kit, to be honest. Very bright, as you can see. A little Swiss Army folder. Um, I've got two. One of them's the Farmer, one of them's the Pioneer. I can't remember which one that is. Um, but yeah, absolutely loving this. And for all those who say, oh, you can't EDC that, etc. Well, you can buy these in any high street um, camping shop and people use them all the time. I don't think it's a bad thing. So that is my little knife, which goes with me everywhere I go, my EDC bag. As I said earlier, when I was um, going out and about eating, etc., we got this. It's a little titanium spork, gifted to me a long time ago from, I think it was uh, Dougal1234, but I'm not sure. Very lightweight, doesn't take up much room. As you can see, it folds in itself. So if I want something to eat, that's that covered. Leatherman Sidekick, uh, given to me by Alan Cockroach. 
an amazing multi-tool. To be honest, I don't really use multi-tools hardly at all, but every now and again when I need it, this, it's never let me down. It's a really good bit of kit. So look into Leatherman Psychic for an info on that. Really good multi-tool. I like my fire, a ferrod blank. Just a pen, which I'm considering upgrading to a tactical pen. But when money's a bit better, I'll get into that. And a little permanent marker. Out and about in the woods, some um, birch bark. That's just been left to dry and put in a sealy bag for lighting fires, obviously. Our EDC keychain. Now that was in my coat pocket, but seeing as I take my bag everywhere, this sort of goes everywhere where I go now. Now I have done videos on this, uh, but it has been upgraded a little bit since then. Got um, a really loud whistle. And some of you are thinking, why do you need that in an urban environment? Well, every now and again I go to the woods, so it's a bit of both. It's about 70% urban, 30% woodland, so it's got a bit of everything in there, all right? Uh, I like my fire at mini ferro rod with a striker and whistle. So we've got two whistles on there. I've got a little container which carries my Easy Start um, dry tinder, and I've got um, a caffeine tablet in there. So when you're really, really knackered, that will wake you up. Give you a bit of a kick out of the bum for about four or five hours. My little Phoenix torch always goes with me. I had that years and it still works. It's never ever let me down. A little silver um, urban compass for general direction only. And that's pretty good actually. We've had to use that recently out in some extensive woodland and it was very, very accurate. And that was given to me by Tack Blades. Another little knife there, which sort of locks, but it doesn't. So that's basically the EDC keychain, which of course that just tethers on there, so you know where it is all the time. A right in the rain notepad, great idea, just love those. they use it quite a bit actually. And that's that panel empty. And the front fold out panel, I've got my um, survival tin inside there, made by Colin Brown. That's got a little um, reflective sticker on there so I can see it quickly. Um, that's been done on a leather pouch by Fox Company Prepping. I just love that level up, it's really nice. And I've also got my work sharp. Now I've had quite a few inquiries of people to do, um, for me to do a demonstration video on this knife sharpener um, behind this bit of paracord here. So when I get around to it, I'll try and get that done for you people if you really want to see that. It's a fabulous bit of kit, it's very um, affordable, it fits anywhere, and it will pretty much um, repair and sharpen all of your sharps out in the field, okay? Um, hanker paracord, as I just said. Um, on the top little pouch there, I've got a glow-in-the-dark Union Jack. So all you have to do is you just charge that up with your light, etc. And um, you can see that it's a great idea if you're doing um, some night navigation, there's a party of you, three, four or five people or whatever. Um, some low level light you can see that um, but not too far away so it's perfect for close quarter stuff and as you can see it, well it's very very low level but it is glowing up in there okay so that is a little pouch there um, which is quite a nice idea when you've got these I was thinking of unpicking the stitching in the middle to make that all open so you can actually put things in there a little secret compartment which is always nice um, a little leather pull there with a 12 gauge um, fob on the top. That was from a guy on Instagram, Big Ash. Thank you, mate. We open that up. We've got my little charger kit. It um, goes with me everywhere. And always periodically check that this is charged up, guys, if you're carrying something like this, all right? If you keep it in your bag and you don't use it for a few months, every now and again, just put it on the charge and keep it topped up. It's great for checking your um, smartphones, etc., all right? And once it's charged up, always keep this panel away from direct sunlight, okay? You only expose that to sunlight when the battery is almost dead, okay? So if it's like over half full, do not show that to light because it will ruin it. A lot of people don't understand that, but it does happen, all right? Um, honey. I like honey in my coffee, and I like raw honey, which hasn't been like messed about with. It's got all the goodness in there. I'm really struggling to find the container. I've tried this one out, it's only been in there a few days. It's by that company, I think it's um, a Swedish company. 
Um, so far it's not too bad, but as you can see there is some bits of honey coming out inside the Sealy bag. So I want something um, flat, like a backy tin or something, that will make sure it stays in and doesn't leak. Not easy to find, so that's an ongoing process. So that's out and about, women for more honey. Partner had a bit of a cold, so we've got some just cheapo little um, paper towels there, nice and small and lightweight. Inside, some Olber soil. Just put a few drops in it onto your paper towel and you've got a cold inhale, it's pretty good stuff. Obviously when you're eating now and again, got a tiny little pack of dental floss. A little charge and lead and an adapter um, to go with most smartphones and other devices really to run off your little power pack. And that is one for the phone as well. Always carry a couple because they're only small, it doesn't weigh anything. And some energy sweets for on the move. Great idea. These incidentally from an old um, ration pack I used to have. And uh, every now and again, it's just what the doctor ordered. And another good little thing put onto me by a lone wolf for a long time ago was this. It's a little strip light. All it does is just plug on there and it gives you light. Of course, if you want to do some low level work, it will bend and stay wherever it goes. Very, very nice bit of kit that. And you can get them from China for under three or four pounds. Don't cost hardly anything. So all that does is that just folds up and goes inside there, like that. Nice and easy. That is that little pouch empty. As I say, this is all like personal preference, okay? Anyone can put anything they want in their bags. Um, but I'm a big fan on putting um, zip pulls on, as you can see. It's just really, really easy and quick to open stuff once you've got all of them sort of things on there. Cause phone in there, some paracetamol and some ibuprofen. So that would cover most of mild pain relief. You know, with all of that coupled onto the mini first aid kit in there, you don't really need to be carrying great big medical crash bags around with them, not in my opinion anyway. So that is that. A little bit of tin foil, always comes in handy. And as I said before, I only wanted the um, the front compartments with a few items in, and the main compartment completely empty. And that's pretty much what it is. Um, when we go shopping and get supplies, etc., rather than keep buying carrier bags, we just throw things in our own little packs. Um, these are just a couple of bits and odds, and then some old paracord stuff that I had lying around. It's just handy to have on there just in case you did happen to need some emergency cordage. It's all sorted out in there ready. Um, big fan of these packs. You can get panels which um, go across there and segregate everything. Nice bit of kit. I think there's some sort of um, dividers. And on the underside of the pack, I've just got that all in one, and that was gifted to me a long time ago on my YouTube channel. It's basically another compass, another whistle, magnifying glass, and a temperature gauge. Not a bad bit of kit, and again, it's another zip pull, so I'm happy with that. Um, we've just got um, an empty jiffy bag in there, it's insulated. All it does is it just gives you an extra layer of warmth underneath when it gets cold. And just a couple of um, OS maps in there for the local area. And that's pretty much it, really. Um, as I say, I've taken um, the belt off of here, didn't really need it, didn't like it and just modified it for my own needs, pretty much. Sternum strap. It's got his own little whistle in there, which is a nice, neat little idea. I really do like that. So if you're out and about in the woods and you get lost, you've always got a whistle on you, which is nice. So that is pretty much it. It's a really quick video about um, all of the bits and pieces that I'm currently um, carrying around with me in urban, mostly urban environments, all right? Um, just food for thought. As I said, everything is personal taste. There's no rules, you should have this, you shouldn't have this. All it is, is it's a bag that goes with me everywhere I go on a daily basis. And they're just some useful items that I think help me. So I hope that's inspired you, give you some ideas maybe. Um, any comments, stick them below and um, chat amongst yourselves and um, learn a little bit more. So thanks for all your support guys. This is my EDC bag for early 2017. Thanks for watching and stay funky.